I think in this regard, especially our trip here to the Chiquibol, that um, we know, we don't know who, but we know that um, during the past few years, um, a lot of land has been distributed up in this uh, area of the mountain Pine Ridge. Um, certainly, if we don't put some controls on it and we don't know what they're doing, um, then further destruction can come out if, uh, depending on the type of development. Um, I was one during the past administration who in cabinet, in, um, at the House of Representatives, sorry, had mentioned that I was not in full approval of the construction of this road because I always thought that there was an ulterior motive for construction of this road to Caracol. While we believe that uh, an upgraded road can be constructed, an all-weather road, uh, it wasn't worth uh, spending $180 million uh, on this road when we had other priorities. You know, we finished an advocacy strategy just about four months ago. The recommendation basically there is that the government should put a freeze on all of the protected areas, particularly forest reserves, for the same you know, reason that there has been more of the subdivisions and de-reservations, even though the de-reservations might not have passed through the proper you know, guidelines and the protocols. So the freezing is one of the key recommendations that has been already you know, offered and provided by FCD on the risk advocacy strategy.